Eight area school districts are bracing for a rush of new students to flood their steps come September. Today, the Missouri Supreme Court upheld the student transfer law. Jenna Hanchard shows us what this could mean for thousands of students come fall. That's right. Right now, there are four districts that touch the KCPS borders, and you can see them right here. Now, leaders in these surrounding areas, they hope an increase of students won't compromise the quality of education in their classrooms. A disappointing but expected ruling came down today from the Missouri State Supreme Court, upholding the student transfer law and taking a punch at the confidence of a struggling district. This flies in the face of our community's crystal clear desire for stable neighborhoods and stable schools. That stability, that important ingredient is critical to effective teaching and learning. The law will force KCPS to foot the bill for student transfers to neighboring accredited districts. We do not know how many students may opt to transfer. Uh, we do not know the eventual cost of student transfers. All that's still yet to be determined. But they do know with about 16,000 students in the district, at a cost of about 10,000 per student, the transfer bill could be pricey. And for neighboring districts, crowded classrooms threaten the quality of education. It would be very difficult for us. Certainly if we have more students coming in, uh, it, capacity limits could certainly be reached within our school district. And we'll also uh, make sure that we protect the taxpayers and the students that are currently living in the school district so we don't uh, lose any services that those students are now receiving. Hello. According to state guidelines, the earliest students can transfer is by the fall of 2014. Mark.